Hi, I'm Paul from the Developer Relations team at BlackBerry, and today we're going to talk about what you can do with Cascades. Hi, I'm Aaron, and that sounds awesome. Let's do it. Okay, Paul, can you explain what Cascades is? Right, so there's two ways to write a native app. The first is through Cascades, which is a framework built on top of C++ and Qt. It can be pretty high level if you want, and it's what we recommend for application development. The other side of the sponge cake, to coin a metaphor, is what we call core native, which is low-level C built on top of our POSIX compliant operating system. It's more for porting existing libraries and game development, although it's important to realize that it's all one SDK and you can easily mix and match between the two. It's basically just a different project template when you create a new app. At any rate, we're going to be talking about Cascades. Why should I use Cascades? Cascades gives you a set of UI components that allow you to easily create great looking UIs that have that BlackBerry 10 look and feel. You can build Cascades apps entirely using C++, but you can also use QML and JavaScript. How does that work? What is QML? Well, QML stands for Qt Modeling or Meta Language, depending on who you ask. Qt developers will be familiar with QML, but if you aren't, it's a JavaScript-based declarative modeling language that makes it really easy to rapidly build compelling UIs. Cascades provides a set of UI controls that can be created and manipulated in QML or C++ or both. For example, here is an app written entirely in QML and JavaScript. And here is an app written entirely in C++. I personally prefer writing my UIs in QML. I actually prefer, well, I prefer QML too. Sorry, we don't have a dissenting opinion. Do you like writing your UIs in QML or C++? Definitely QML. QML all the way. C++. QML. Definitely QML. QML. Both. QML all the way. QML. What can you do with Cascades? Anything you want. For example, you can do GPS, camera, multimedia, networking, database stuff, Bluetooth, invoke other apps like Facebook and Twitter and core platform apps, and ones written by third parties, including possibly you. We're POSIX compliant, so it's really easy to port existing libraries, and we have a lot already done up on GitHub. You can also do push, analytics, BBM, score loop, in-app payments, advertisements, and you can pull my beard. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. How do I get started? Well, you can go download the NDK from developer.blackberry.com. For free. Get a set of signing keys. For free. And build your first Hello World app. Free if your time has no value, but it's still really cheap, even if it does. Deploy it on the simulator. Free on Windows and Linux, and you need VM Player Fusion on a Mac. Or deploy it on your own device. Free if you have one. Then you write your app and submit it to BlackBerry World, which is also free. Where do I go for more information? Well, you can check out the other videos on DevTube, but you should also hit up developer.blackberry.com slash cascades or slash native, depending on what you're looking for. You should really subscribe to devblog.blackberry.com as that's where we post all of our announcements, how-to articles, and best practices guides. You can find a whole bunch of samples up on github.blackberry.com. Feel free to grab some of that code and use it in your own app. Most of it's under the Apache license. And finally, if you get stuck, feel free to hit up the forums at supportforums.blackberry.com, tweet us at blackberrydev, or if you found a dun, dun, dun. bug or have a feature request, submit it to blackberry.com slash Jira. We can't wait to see what kind of cool apps you come up with. If you make something rad, send us a tweet at pbernhardt or at eronin. We'd love to see what our developers are up to. 